All right, fantastic. We are back. Sorry about that bit of a delay. Okay. Oh, sweet. This is Halcyon Noon. We interrupt. Okay. Uh. So I'm still not sure where. Oh wait, the rest didn't go. Like, not for the clothes, but just having a room. Still getting acquainted? Can't go wrong if you stick to the promenade. What kind of business have you and Gladys got running? Didn't quite catch that. Uh, you'll have to speak up. Business, what? Glass ear? Sorry, there, there's a lot of static on my end. Forget it. Huh. Now that I heard. I like this guy. Uh, I'll be on my way, I guess. I... I thought I could rent a room here. Let's not. What? No. Okay. Excuse me, Gladys. Yes. I'm going to sleep for 12 orders. Yay! Thanks, Gladys. <laughs> uh, okay, so that almost certainly did enough for Ah! Almost certainly did enough for the... the date to end. But... Auntie's Kitchen Armory... Yeah! Wow! Hello! Welcome to the office of the representative of Halcyon Holdings here on Groundbreaker. How might I assist you today? Where'd the other guy go? My sincerest apologies, but I'm afraid I don't understand. Udon. Other guy? Udon Bedford. Regretfully, that name doesn't ring a bell. Wow. Now, if you have nothing further, please excuse yourself. Who are you? I am the board's representative here on Groundbreaker. You may call me Mr. Silva, or Sir, whichever you prefer. Ha. Uh. If you're asking why he no longer sits at this desk, that's simple enough. His employment with Halcyon Holdings was terminated. If you're instead inquiring as to the precise location of his body, well... His body? That I do ah, know. you slipped up, bud. May I help you with anything else? Who had him killed? I haven't asked, nor do I care to know. You're a well-connected man. I heard whispers. screams, in point of fact, from down the waste disposal hall. Now you know as much as I do. I hope this information satisfies your curiosity. Good day. All right. Now, I wonder if over in the armory, they've got, hello? You look like someone who's taking their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, we have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Are you a spacer yourself? Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked Eridanos, indentured to the corporations. Huh. Go on. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. Tell me about your wares. Everything I sell is fresh from the forge. Technically, the metal formed billions of years ago, but it's freshly in the shape. Ah. Okay. So, spacer.
so I don't know what's supposed to be classified as spacer stuff. Eh. I'll worry about it another time. What? Oh, okay. I thought I saw something about Pavardi. Details, no. Before you say anything, be clear, I'm running right. No. Broke while you were busy. No. Did it go well? I'm oh, about vibrating. I'm so excited. So she got here, and the first thing she said was, Oh, you smell nice, like mock apples. And I was like, Yeah, new soap. And then she just sort of touched my arm, real gentle like, and called the cut of my outfit elegant. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. I know, I was there. No, just like... Yes, I was staring from around the corner the entire time. I figured you'd do this at some place more romantic, like the engine room. Laid out the... and started the music? She stood stock still and just said... Real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. <laughs> I'm glad the end result was good, yeah. I sure was. Near best thing to homemade, June Lee said. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Smooth. One of us has got to be. We're both... June's so reserved and I'm so shy. I worried if I never said anything, nothing would ever get said, you know? Mm -hmm. I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. <laughs> she, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. She wrote a speech to declare her love? She was worried she wouldn't get the words out right. Especially after that message about Isabel. <laughs> Sweet. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Oh, that's excellent. It's all on your account, you know. Imagine if you'd never taken me out of Edgewater. I'd have never met Jun Lei at all. I don't know nothing about the Vicar's capital P plan, but you've sure changed my life. So, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna head to my cabin and happy scream into my pillow for like an hour. Capital P plan. Is he talking about... Oh, I'm guessing proposal? Ah. Eck. Enchanted evening perk. Ooh, what's that? Picture of June Lei and Pavarti. Oh, I'm gonna have to go see that. Uh, where is it? Chrono Harmony.
I think I'm going to give everyone this. No, 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 not that. This. Negative faction day. Nah. Max will taunt enemies. Oh, that's really nice. But not necessary. I appreciate it, though. Ability will always stun auto mechanicals. There we go. That's really odd. I wonder why I'm not seeing her perk yet. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I've got all companion quests complete at this stage. Bottle outfits. I'll have to just find out exactly what she means by spacer stuff. Okay, so back to Byzantium. Now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Okay. Uh, put this junk away. All of this. Heavy machine gun, bolter pistol. Wait, what? Let me make sure I actually gave Felix the... Yeah, I gave it to him. Okay. But now I've got everyone's quests done. It's just a matter of playing favorites now, really. We'll be here, Captain. Or will we? Haha. Uh -huh. Just a little joke for you. Cute. Hmm. So, one of them's gotta be Pavarti. Let's go with Felix. Mostly because of how wowed they are by anything fancy. Oh, you've been right here the whole time. Okay. Do you mind? I'm needing someone. Roll your eyes inside dramatically. I, oh, oh, you mean I'm supposed to be meeting you. Why do you sound so surprised? Nothing, it's just, I thought you'd be taller. Ha! Ah. Anyway, let's not get hung Star up Star Wars that. reference. The Phoenix is a wanted man, and the board has eyes everywhere in Byzantium. The Phoenix? Yeah. That's my codename for... You know. Our mutual friend. What's your codename? Oh. I'm Golden Eagle. Ha. Do I have a codename? Um, yeah. I named you Cuckoo. Cuckoo. No, wait, I'm Golden Eagle. You can be Cuckoo. <laughs> Seriously? It makes sense if you think about it. Because I didn't know who you were, and old Earth Cuckoos would routinely trick other birds into feeding them. Okay. Can we pick our own code names? <laughs> I want to be Rolling Thunder. Wait, no, I got it. Dropkick Millstone. Yeah. <laughs> I was really trying to stick with the bird theme. How about Bullfinch? Sure. Wow. That is so much better. Bullfinch Millstone. Okay, but adding your last name kind of misses the point. Oh, 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 can I be chicken? Because chickens will adopt any critter's baby and keep them warm. <laughs> you sure you don't want to be raven or sparrowhawk? Aw. It'll be chicken. Okay, okay. Chicken it is. <laughs> anyway, you're looking so to make amusing. contact with Minister yes. uh, Magpie, right? I should warn you, it won't be easy. He spends most of his time in this estate, which is heavily guarded. Gotta be a way to catch the minister of someplace less protected. How exactly did you get involved in all of this? I've always been fascinated by birds. 
If you ever research Earth species, there are thousands of them. So colorful and distinct. Here we got 11 flavors of terror rays and not much else. That kind of variety? I mean, gosh. Seems almost impossible. The other thing about birds, though, is their environmental indicators. When they die off, it's a sign that something's wrong. Exactly. I started thinking about everything we see around Halcyon, and all the things we don't see. Like what? For starters, you rarely come across anyone living in Byzantium who wasn't born here, even though we get ships in all the time. Doesn't that seem strange to you? It does. And then there's the way nothing gets fixed. There used to be a suggestion box around here. People would drop ideas in. Nothing ever came of them, of course. Sounds like my old job. I had all these bang-up ideas, you know? Like making everybody haul their own damn boxes. Never did catch on, though. That's what I mean. Everyone needs a suggestion box so they can voice their thoughts. So what if nothing changes? <laughs> Sounds pretty normal. Sure, that part is. That's why they install shredders in those boxes, after all. Ah. But one day the shredder broke. No one came to fix it. And since it wasn't working, we didn't have anywhere to file our complaints. So you can imagine how messy things got. I bet your repair folks couldn't find parts. Back in Edgewater, I'd have to take something apart just to put another thing back together. Might have been the paperwork. Here, you have to append forms to your forms, and law help you if there's a single dash out of place. And? At first, management put up an out-of-order sign. But that just seemed to worry people. Like they were advertising something wasn't working. Ah! They eventually took the whole suggestion box sign down so that people didn't have any expectations about it. But they never fixed it. Never replaced it. Doesn't that seem odd to you? No, that's how things go around Halcyon, in case you didn't notice. Suggestion box was pretty useless to begin with. Yes. The whole episode made me wonder. If they can't fix something as simple as a suggestion box, what else aren't they fixing? After a while, I got connected with our mutual friend and started using my position here to feed him information when I could. That's it, really. Can't you get me into the estate? Whoa, I'm not one of your B&E specialists. I just provide intelligence. <laughs> Debatable. Okay, what can you tell me? Some of the guards hang around Billingsley's house of inebriation between shifts. Maybe you could do some reconnaissance there. You know, swipe a key while nobody's looking. Theft, not reconnaissance, but yeah, thanks for the tip. Just remember, you didn't hear it from me. Somewhere less protected. Afraid not. He almost never leaves his home, and his guards never leave him. Can't say I blame him. It's scary out of doors. I mean, can you even count how many times we've been shot at? Yeah. What work specialists, huh? Our mutual friend is really branching out. Looks like I've got work to do. Good luck, Cuckoo. I really like that Pavardi uh, decided to go with chicken. It just that quirky charm really fits her. Prosperity Plaza. Okay, so Minister Clark, Minister's Guard. I only wish they weren't showing. Okay, quick save. Hey, stand back. You... I'm part of Minister Clark's personal detail, and that means you gotta keep five feet back at all times. Calm down. Uh, did, well, didn't know I was talking to such a big shot. We used to post a drink on the job. Uh, didn't know I was talking to such a big shot. Yep, you're looking at the minister's newest personal guard. <laughs> Right here. 
The others took me out to celebrate on account of me just getting hired and all. Anything you can tell me about him? Oh, um, he's a uh, medium height with like medium colored hair and like a kind of a medium face. Just Everything's like his medium. You haven't met him, have you? Everyone tells me he's very private, okay? Besides, I just started. What's so important about guarding him? He's basically the most important person in the colony, which makes me the most important guard in the colony. <laughs> yeah. That means I got a key to the minister's estate, my own personal UDL assist issued shotgun. Is this issued? <laughs> they don't give those out to just anyone. A key, you That's say. right. Not just anyone is allowed to have a key to Minister Clark's residence. It's all so very high level. How about it, I buy you a drink to celebrate your promotion? That's a great idea! I'll have a Spectrum Vodka. Captain, I can smell him from clear over here. I reckon he's had a fair number already. Sure have, because today's my big day. He's got powerful good ears, too. Hmm. <laughs> And a powerful thirst. You, uh, you have a Spectrum Vodka for a new pal? Oh, hold on. Uh, Barkeep? Please allow me to. Drink Spectrum Vodka, just one. Hey, you look. Spectrum Vodka. Cheers to me! <laughs> hey, you are really great. Have I told you that? We should be friends. Yeah. <laughs> wow, listen to me. I'm soaked. <laughs> I should probably slow down before I'm face down on the tile somewhere. <laughs> Who am I kidding? I could, I could have another. You got another? Oh, hold on. Shit. Okay. Please allow me to imp. You know what? Just give me five. Okay. Thank you. It's not every day you get your dream job, right? Wow! You've got, like, this crazy energy. Has anyone ever told you that? You're like a I am Manasaur. You got a Manasaur energy. Oh, laws. I gotta stop. I'm seeing at least two of you. Let's have another. I really shouldn't. I'll have the worst hangover tomorrow if I don't stop. Medical, with your BMI, you could metabolize another. Just drink plenty of water. That's a problem for tomorrow. Medical. You sure sound like you know what you're talking about. Okay, here goes. Yeah. Was that one supposed to taste like purple berry crunch? Or am I just tasting breakfast? I don't feel so good. I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> okay, now you're pre-approved. Please allow banter. me to improve your drinking experience with fine cocktails and pre-approved banter. Pre-approved banter. Request How can confirmed. I resist? Banter protocol activated. Welcome, attractive patron, to Billingsley's House of Inebriation. Did you know that despite being an extremely valuable, one-of-a-kind creation? I have been programmed to simulate self-loathing and contempt for myself. Huh. I will bear that in mind. Uh. 
Oh, hold on. Oh, I'm being stupid again. And everyone was so surprised. What was your family like, Felix? Did you never know I never knew him. I was a stowaway. That's what they call orphans who grow up in the back bays. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. That must have been lonesome. You must Come on, Parvati, who are you talking to? Imagine me pining after my family. Yeah, I suppose that was a... Uh, but hey, look at me now. I made it. I got a ship and everything. Lawbreaker! I saw that! What? <laughs> Not a peep for me. This property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Here from Minister Clark. That's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Minister expecting Minister a Clark's delivery. Minister a private man, and you're asking too many questions. Farewell. All right. Minister's parcel. You must be joking. Did you know June Lai grown up? Miss Tennyson? Nah, she never looked my way. I knew of her though. Who didn't? She was just about the busiest woman on the groundbreaker. What did folks say about her then? Tough. Competent. Had a glare that'd stop you dead in your tracks. <laughs> yeah. 